You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Gemini. Now, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading between you and your person, Gemini, which I'll leave a link to over here. For you to, I don't know what that was, Gemini, <laughs> for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But Gemini, when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Gemini. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whichever way, Gemini, I promise you. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Gemini, I would really appreciate it for you to take the time to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. Um, and I just really appreciate you guys taking the extra time to do that for me. And then let me know also in the comments below which cards resonate with you because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, right? So, and lastly, before we get into your reading, Gemini, I just want to remind you that these tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider that you might not have before. Um, it's ultimately your life to live, not mine. So don't allow, don't have these cards make decisions for you. Just have them give you something to think about, right? So with all that said, let's get into your reading now, Gemini. We have, I pulled some Oracle tarot cards for you, and I also pulled some tarot cards for you, Libra. Libra. I just did Libra. I apologize, Gemini. So I'm just used to saying Libra. But Gemini, I pulled a few tarot cards and then a or card for you. And the Oracle card we'll start with, which is the full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Now, Gemini, whenever I see this Oracle card come forward to me, this is usually, I usually take note of where it's just like, this is probably some Geminis that are dealing with some self-worth issues, probably dealing with some issues of where that kind of, depending on the nature of it, it can, especially based off of your tarot cards, there's like probably some self-deprecation self -deprecation happening. Um, or just like the sense of you feel like you fell flat on your face recently almost, or something's kind of like disappointed you, or kind of, um, taking something to heart. Something's just like really disappointed you. Maybe you're almost internalizing it, perhaps, of like what's happened. Like maybe you're blaming yourself for why something isn't panning out in such a way, or turn, you know, it's just you're put, you're internalizing something, and that's it's not doing anything good for your the relationship with yourself. And I know it's, I feel like it's someone internalizing something because of uh, the tarot card, the hermit, coming in for you, Gemini. Now, when the hermit card comes in, this is like someone that's just like reclusing off, being like, someone's just like, well, no one likes me anyways. No one thinks I'm great. No, like, I'm not going to be successful. So I might as well just like crawl in a hole and just disappear, right? That's the kind of language that I feel like that's been going on for you right now, Gemini, where it's just like kind of like just giving up and you just are just in this place where it's just like, well, I'm never going to be good enough, right? So I might as well just not bother trying. You're never going to see any type of success. So you might as well just quit sort of thing. You're always going to just deal with people that disappoint you or you think you're going to disappoint others. So you just don't want to connect with them. Am I stepping on your toes yet, Gemini? Um, and then this is where the beautiful cards come in for you. Not that these other cards weren't beautiful for you, but we have the Page of Wands coming in. Page of Wands is like a new, um, it's like a new focus almost. This is someone that's feeling a little bit more reinvigorated. Um, I do kind of feel like it's more so reinvigoration. I don't feel like Page of Wands usually, well, pages usually represent Gemini, um, like a new beginning of some sort. And when it's with the Wands, it's like a new passion project, perhaps, and just something new. Now, I see this more so as like you just being like your spark being re reignited almost. And I say that because of the sun card coming in for you, Gemini. The sun card is the best card in the deck. The sun card is like exude, exudes positivity, exudes abundance. It just exudes all things just positive, really. And I feel like the sun is what like reignites this page of wands for you. Now, we'll see in the tarot cards of things why this is, like what happens for this to cause this actually let's let's just pull a couple cards actually just to see see if we can get a couple more like clarification before we um some clarification rather before we get into like the nitty-gritty of your tarot cards gemini so i pulled eight of pentacles six of pentacles and the wheel card for you the wheel card is why uh, i really feel like this especially 
With this Eight of Pentacles, there's something that you've been studying or something that you've been putting some work into, something that you've been investing some time into for a while now, Gemini. And it's probably you've been in this state where it's just like you've been sinking a lot of time and energy, a lot of emotion, a lot of feelings, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into something. And you may have just felt like you haven't gotten the payout that you feel like you should have, right? So it's been in this place where it's like, yeah, you've been internalizing it a little bit and it's just been a little bit hard on yourself, a little bit critical on yourself, perhaps, Gemini. But you still using that to motivate you to do more, to push yourself more. And it's not a bad thing at all, right? It's always good to try to improve yourself because we're not perfect beings, right? We always are trying to elevate ourselves. But just make sure the language that you have with yourself, Gemini, is coming from a place of just wanting to elevate yourself and not feeling like you need to do something because you feel like you're lacking. Does that make sense? You want to upgrade yourself just for the sake of upgrading yourself. You don't want to upgrade yourself in, or improve, like, whatever, with just because of the thought process that you feel like you're lacking in some way, because that's not the case. And the wheel card comes in. I just kind of feel like things just start tur like start working out for you properly. Now, I'm, we'll see with the tarot cards. I am going to be honest here. Uh, Gemini, I don't feel like it's going to be just some magic, like you wake up one day and things start panning out for you. But I do get this sense as long as you continue like exuding this energy, right? Because this is where this is like that sun, the wheel starts turning in your favor. All those positive cards only happen if you continue on with this energy of continually challenging yourself, educating yourself in some type of way and continuing sinking your energy into something. Um, and not losing faith that it won't pay out because at some point the wheel is going to start turning in your favor um, and it's going to really inspire you to you're going to be really motivated by some of the results that happen if you continue down this path i guess is what i'm trying to say gemini so just with all that in mind just watch your self-deprecation language that you have with yourself watch even like with the people that are around you gemini make sure that you're around people that help elevate you that make you feel empowered rather than feel like it's your fault right maybe that's what's going on right maybe you're not even having self-deprecating nature and you're just around crappy people that don't make you feel good um but yeah now gemini we're going to get into the tarot side of things for your rows so i'm going to be doing your first row for my gemini's interested in their finances and career second row for their social situations my gemini and then the last row is just some final closing thoughts with tarot um so i already pulled the tarot cards for your career and finances i guess we pulled four for you gemini so let's break this down <clears throat> i've been talking so much and it's just <clears throat> i apologize gemini <laughs> So we have the chariot card coming in. Beautiful to have in your finances because for fast forward movement, things are starting to going to start paying out for you pretty soon, which is why you want to continue exuding this energy right here, Gemini. Three of discs. So definitely you're not working alone in this, some type of collaborative energy. Maybe even Gemini, you're being pushed to collaborate with somebody. Maybe that's what it is that you need to learn from is to reach out to somebody or some bodies to do some type of collaborative project because it may be profitable. Or at the very least, you will learn what to do or like learn how to um like whatever it is through the experience with the person in that three of pentacles gemini you could probably take that experience and like add it for your own personal things right whenever i say collaborative um energies it doesn't mean like this person's right there with you doing whatever it is right it could just be like sharing some thoughts right shoot like you know in the sense of just being like shooting ideas to one another. It doesn't have to mean in the sense of where like they're actively hands in uh, deep in that project with you. Uh, King of Swords comes out with a nine of discs. So this is what happens, right? Through this more refined thinking, through you not being in your head as much, or at the very least when you're in your head, um, Gemini, you don't sabotage. It's not that inner sabotage, right? Once you get a little bit more I hope it doesn't sound insulting because I don't mean it in that way, um, Gemini, but once you have a bit more control of how you process things and just like maybe just not letting your emotions take get the best of you, um, you know, because we all go through those spirals sometimes, right? We'll go through those spirals and just really get into like a negative state of mind where it's just like start becoming like a pessimist almost, right? We all do it. I'm not saying that in like a confrontational way, Gemini. I mean, shoot, I'm just recently getting out of that period myself. So um, let's pull some clarification though for these cards. 
All right, so the chariot card coming in with the uh, page of pentacles. So this is what's confirming it to me, uh, Gemini. Now, when I see the page of pentacles as a tarot reader, I always have to say, um, I guess I don't have to, but um, I do see this as like a person coming in. Like, I feel like if you were to connect this based off of your other cards as well, Gemini, I do just get this impression of if you were to communicate, have open some line of communication with somebody in some collaborative way, you would be really happy with the results and the results would come in pretty quickly for you, Gemini. I am going to be honest, though, since it is on your side, we're not getting to the social situation yet. It's kind of up to you. I feel like you have to be the one to take the action. Especially with that eight of pentacles and six of pentacles. It's all about like that self, like it's, this is not going to just be handed to you on a silver platter, Gemini. Not that I'm saying that you think that, but just to you know, as a reminder, queen of pentacles comes in with the three of discs. So this is, I feel like the person, I feel like whoever it is that you could collaborate with kind of exudes that queen of pentacles energy. So what does that mean, Gemini? This means this person's probably a little bit more, I would, I usually never do this, Gemini, but like I do get the sense that they have a more effeminate nature. It doesn't mean they're female, right? Um, it just means they have a more soft, they have a more softer, they have a softer way of speaking. They have a softer way of how they present themselves. They're probably just one of those types of people. They would be, t <laughs> this is gonna be such a random example, but the best way I can uh, attribute this kind of person would be someone that is just like, that just has like their, they do everything by themselves probably. And they're the kind of person that would just, you would just see them out in like a flower field, just like humming to themselves, completely content with themselves, right? You probably, you would probably see this person as someone that has like a lot of, because it seems like this person, um, seems to be pretty stable and especially with the three of discs or three of pentacles it always talks about putting someone on a pedestal you might see this queen of pentacles you might see this person as someone that wouldn't care to like connect with you or wouldn't be interested in collaborating with you um but you'd i feel like again if you would be surprised if you were to go out in that flower field where they're just kind of being a little bit of an airhead um in their own world not being like in, in an insulting way reach out communication you'd be pleasantly surprised by the results of it and the Hierophant coming in with the Nine of Discs. This is you just tapping into your higher self, honey. Uh, Gemini, this is you, me letting you know that you have the potential already. And once you tap into, further tap into, this lets me know, like, you know how I was talking about Gemini, no longer having that self-deprecating nature. You only have that self-deprecating nature because you don't fully see yourself as how everyone else sees you, right? Maybe you don't even want to communicate with somebody, Gemini, in terms of your work or even ask for that raise because you feel like you're not a valuable asset. But once you realize you're actually a valuable asset, the world, like that's when you start seeing some beautiful things uh four of pentacles comes in as the clarification for the king of swords so more so again just really honing in on the message gemini of once you just get your mental um a handle on your mental um states and like how you process things and just more not reacting i guess gemini taking the emotion out of it getting out of your really just getting out of your head um that's really when things start working out for you really well. So beautiful start for that, uh, my Gemini. So let's get some tarot cards uh, in regards to my Gemini's social situations this week. See what's up with which cards. Are we taking these though? Are we taking these? I guess we're taking these, honey. <laughs> Don't mind me having a conversation with myself, Gemini. Y'all are just getting a lot of tarot cards in your reading. So we get into your social situation, which just based off of the complexity of these cards, lets me know that this is a ugh, honey. <laughs> Let me get into these cards so I don't get you anxious. Four of discs comes in, 10 of wands as well, as well as the 10 of swords. Uh, so we'll address these before we get into your other two. Tens I always associate with the closure of a cycle. I am going to be honest here, Gemini. It does seem to be that some type of person, some type of dynamic that's been weighing on you um, for quite, probably for quite some time, Gemini. There's probably some person that's either been already relevant in your life or was relevant in your life at one point that you invested a lot of time into um, that you're kind of having to let go of, right? Finally coming to terms with realizing that they're just like these thoughts about them just weigh you down. And I feel like this is finally coming to a point where 
you're just putting a closure to this almost um it's almost like you're realizing gemini that this person just some person in your life like you're finally coming to the terms of the fact with the terms of the fact that some someone may just be some baggage to you now something that like you really had high hopes for just you're finally just realizing or just accepting the fact that they're just not for you they're not really they're just they're just no matter how hard you try no matter how much energy you put into it it just isn't worth it to you it just weighs you down more the Nave of Swords with the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I feel like, Gemini, whoever this is, I don't feel like you're communicating with them. I feel like it's been one of those things where it's just like banging your head against a brick wall with somebody, Gemini. And it's just like, you're. it feels like you're almost done. Just It feels like you're done trying to make it work. It feels like you're realizing it's just like, this is not worth the effort of really trying to make this work because it's just stressing you out. It's just weighing you down. And you're just checked out from it, I feel. I feel like you're just at this place where you're being like, enough's enough. So we're going to pull some clarifiers some short, and keep it short, though, because I feel like it kind of like... I don't, there's not too much more to hone in on in this message, right? Without it being too repetitive. Um, we have the King of Pentacles coming out with the Ace of Swords again, the Moon card, and the Six of Cups. So again, the Six of Cups lets me know this has been an energy with that Four of Pentacles. You really invested a lot. Like, you didn't want to let go of this. You you were emotionally invested for a long time now. Um, King of Sword, or King of Pentacles with this Ace of Swords comes in. I see this just as you. I feel like, especially with this moon card, you just like, you get like a wake up call one day, whether it's just through you processing things or through like the action or lack there of action through somebody, you kind of just realize and you're just like, you know what? You need to like, you're going, you're, this isn't providing the stability that you're craving. So you're going to move on to a new direction. So definitely for my Geminis that have been like tossing around, having some type of closure with somebody in their life. Um, it seems to be for the best of their, seems to be for the best, Gemini. So, and I kind of get the sense that it would be more so, like, you would already know who this person is, Gemini. Like, you would, you already are having these thoughts before I even say anything in the reading. So, let's get some final thoughts now for this reading uh, for you, my Gemini. We have the Two of Discs coming in, the Three of Cups, as well as the Hierophant coming in, following you again. So, really, this push for you, Gemini, to really look yourself in the mirror. I really just feel like a lot of you, Geminis, are not seeing how beautiful you are, seeing the value that you bring to the table. Um... And so there is just this constant push of tapping into yourself a little bit more, tapping into just being nicer to yourself, <laughs> truly. Um, I feel like once you, it's like, because I feel like part of the reason why the social situation is what it is, is because you don't value value yourself in the way that you should. You feel like you accept behaviors that just really aren't that will uh lovely in your life they're not that lovely you accept it because it's like you feel like you don't deserve any better and i feel like once you actually do realize your own potential realize what it is that you bring to the table you kind of are done juggling a whole bunch you're done trying to manage things that just are not for you in your life because you no longer are feeling like you're doing something wrong you're kind of just realizing that it's you know, could just be things just aren't working out anymore. It could just be the fact that it's like, oh, like, it's a two-way street. It takes two to tango, right? And I think with this Three of Cups, you're kind of just coming to this realization of where it's just like, things that are meant to work out for you are going to work out for you. Things that are not, are not. You know, you can't, you, all you can do is invite someone to the table. If they don't want to take you up on that invitation and sit down at the table, it's not your fault. It's not you're the fault of the party. Nothing to do with that. They could just not want to be part of that table. And I feel like you're just realizing it and you're having that sense of closure, right? Such a week, I feel like, Gemini, you're really going to um, discover yourself. So I'm really excited about that, Gemini, but that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos to the friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Gemini, I love you so much.